now we will discuss moments. We know that several time whenever we collect data, we ask some of the summary statistics to understand the data. For example, averages, then variability, variance. So, what are those things? So, usually uh, when in a class some marks obtained by students, student usually asks that what is the average of the total uh, all the marks. Is. So, then the student can un understand that the data how it is, uh, whole all marks how it is situated. So, one that average uh, only not uh, cannot be the be only measure to understand the data, there are many other measures also it is required to understand the data. So, here we will understand, we will learn it that what are the measures. So, whenever we are collecting data, so uh, we have some kind of data like that x 1, x 2, some n number of data. So, we assume that this data coming from a particular distribution, it follows some distribution. Distribution in the nature, we do not know, it is a some phenomena, some phenomena that we want to estimate or we want to find that. Usually, you assume that it has some distribution. So, there is some possibility that this x 1 can come, some probability that x 2 can come. It discrete, then there is some assigned probability that what is the probability of x is equal to x i. Now, usually we do not know this probability, what do we do? we have a data, then we find the average, this is called the sample mean, this is 1 by n x 1 plus x 2 plus x n. So, that means, we just uh, sum it, what is the value and n, this is called the sample average, sample average. So, if you write it in a, in a different way, same thing, it is nothing but like this. So, what is this? It is the value. So, so this is the value of the observed value of the data and x 1 and n is the, so 1 by n it is multiplied. So, then it has, uh, we take the sum. So, what is the 1 by n here? So, 1 by n is seems like uh, it is, we are considering that uh, the some kind of weight and that weight are same, n number of elements are there, all weights are 1 by n. Now, if the data contain multiple observations of same, so suppose x 1 it is coming m 1 number of times, x 2 it is coming suppose m 2 number of times and x n it is coming m n number of times. So, then what will be the average? So, if you take the sum, then x 1 plus x 2 plus x n but it will be repeated. So, because this data contains m 1 number of x 1. So, this x 1 plus x 1 plus m 1 times plus x 2 plus x 2 plus x 2 m 2 times like this. Then total suppose total number is nothing but m 1 plus m 2 plus m n. So, then like this x n plus x n plus x n m n times. So, then this sample average will be like this, this is nothing but by total n. So, this is nothing but m 1 into x 1 plus m 2 into x 2 plus m n into x n by n. Now, if you write it is in a different form, it is nothing but m 1 by n x 1 plus m 2 by n x 2 plus m n by n x n. Now, what was those weight? So, this is some kind of weight. So, you can write like p 1 x 1 plus p 2 x 2 plus p n x n. So, this weight actually, this is nothing but if you have a some kind of uh, classical approach, if you know some in the box, some balls are there, suppose x 1 like some particular color m 1 number of times and x 2 is some different color m 2 number of times. Now, if I ask you what is the probability that this particular color uh, x 1 color that will appear when uh, like this m n number of balls are there. So, by classical approach you know that this probability that this this color x 1 will be nothing but m 1 by the total number of balls it is nothing but n. So, this is nothing but p 1. So, 
uh, this average actually what it is coming it is nothing but the probability that that value it come plus probability that that value uh, of the observation like this. So, uh, that is why uh, this is nothing but the pro average sample average. Now, usually we whenever it is not repeated observation because it is only one all the x 1 or 1 we are assuming by uh, classical approach all has same probability we are assuming here. But if you know the exactly what, is, what should be the probability if you know the in which distribution it is coming this probability suppose uh, that we write is probability p x of x i this is nothing but suppose I denote the value p i. So, if you know the probability it is the actual distribution if you know then what will be the expected value or the sam sample this average. So, that is called the population mean because population is the population means that you we are if you consider all the data and all the possible that, uh, sample, that all the points in the sample space and then if you take the average. So, that means you know that what is the probability that x 1 should come, what is the probability that x 2 can come and then, then you can uh, take the weighted average with their probability. So, that is called the population mean and that population mean is defined by, so it is it is nothing but sample mean and then the population mean is defined by suppose you know the discrete distribution. So, this is nothing but whatever the value it can take x k and then p x of x k, p x of x is the probability that value it can come and summation over k. So, k can be uh, a number because discrete distribution k can be infinite. Uh, so, uh, k it is a finite then it will be finite sum and if it is infinite then it is infinite sum provided it will be absolutely summable. If it is not summable then uh, this uh, infinite series it is not summable then uh, this does not exist this mean does not exist. So, this is called the population mean. So, that we will discuss here in uh, general case let let x be a discrete random variable discrete random variable with probability mass function, we say probability mass function p x x. So, whenever x is belongs to the range of x, ok. So, range of x is nothing but x 1, x 2 like this. It, if it is finite then after sometimes it will be x m, otherwise it will, it will be countably infinite only. So, then what is the then the mean of x. So, whenever we say only mean it is nothing but the population mean of x is defined by expected values of x. It is actually denoted by expected values of x, sometimes we denote mu x. So, for some of the book it is followed mu x dash it is not derivative because uh, there is another moments uh, mean uh, or uh, that uh, that is called central moments. So, that is why uh, we denote like this. So, mu x dash m x or sometimes we denote m x also this is nothing but summation of uh, x k into p x of x k k over k whenever x is discrete discrete. Now, whenever if it is continuous we know that if uh, x is a continuous random uh, sorry yeah continuous random variable then probability at a point is 0 and in that case uh, this is analog this mean is defined analogous to the discrete the sum is replaced by the integration and this x will be multiplied x k will be multiplied by x with the probability mass function will be multiplied by uh, probability mass function would be defined. Uh, replaced by the probability density function. So, which is, is equal to minus m a to plus infinity x f x x d x whenever x is x is continuous x is continuous. So, this is the mean. So, uh, we will discuss uh, some of the examples. So, let us go back our discrete random variable some of the example we discussed. So, you can remember. So, we discuss some of the discrete random variable here. Suppose here this is the discrete random variable one example. So, let us consider suppose this example. It is taking the range is minus 1 0 1 with probability mass function 1 by 3 x k is belongs to minus 1 0 1. So, in that case what will be the mean of this random variable. So, let x be the probability mass function let x be a 
discrete random variable with probability mass function p x x is equal to 1 by 3 whenever x is belongs to minus 1 0 1 it is equal to 0 otherwise. So, basically this x k values are x 1, x 2, x 3, x 1 is minus 1, x 2 is 0 and x 3 is 1. So, it is a uniform distribution because all are having probability same probability. So, what will be the expected values of x? So, then this m x will be expected values of x will be nothing but summation of x k p x of x k by this definition. So, then this is nothing but x k is minus 1 into probability that it can take the value minus 1 plus 0 into probability that it can take the value 0 plus 1 into it can take the value sorry 1. P x of 1. So, then this is nothing but see that this is 0 and this is P x of minus 1 is because it is a 1 by 3 only. So, minus 1 into 1 by 3 plus 0 plus uh, 1 into 1 into 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 this is equal to this is equal to 0. So, mean is 0. So, now uh, we let us discuss one continuous random variable how to find the mean of this continuous random variable. Let us consider let uh, suppose this again uh, suppose let. So, let x be a continuous random variable with the probability density function given by. So, let us consider one of the density function we discussed suppose uh, c by x square no this is not the we will discuss uh, at the beginning what we discussed. So, this is nothing but this example uh, f x x is equal to 3 x square by 28 whenever x is between minus 1 and 3 it is 0 otherwise. So, this these things we will discuss. So, f x is equal to Three by twenty-eight x square, whenever x is greater than minus one, less than three, it is zero. Otherwise, so how will be the expected values? So the expected values mu x dash, expected values of x, it is same notation, uh, just different notation, different uh, references you will find. That's why I am writing this. So by definition of the expected value, it is nothing but minus infinity to plus infinity x f x x d x. So, this is nothing but minus minus to plus infinity x 3 x square by 28 d x. So, see it will not be minus because uh, this density is 0 outside minus 1 to 3. So, that is why it will be 0 automatically multiplied with this 0. So, this is nothing but minus 1 to 3. So, then it is nothing but 3 by 28. Now, x square become x cube minus 1 to 3 d x. So, this is 3 by 28 into x to the power 4 by 4 to minus 1 to 3. So, this is uh, nothing but um, how it will be the value. So, this is uh, 3 by 4 into 28 into uh, x to the power 4 uh, the limit 3 uh, this is nothing but 27 81 and then minus 1 whole to the power uh, this is ok. Uh, this is minus 1, this is minus 1. So, um, hold to the power 4. So, I hope if there is any mistake, you please check it. So, then this is nothing but 3 into 80 by 4 into 28. So, then just uh, this is 220. So, uh, 20 into 360. So, this is nothing but, so we can again. Uh, this is so then 15 by this is nothing but this is nothing but 15 by 7. So, this mean of this continuous random variable is nothing but 15 by 7. Now, let us uh, two data set let us consider two 
data set uh, to random variable like suppose uh, you have two data set like that uh, uniform random variable suppose you are considering. So, one is that random variable suppose discrete random variable suppose we have already considered one random variable like uh, this is the um, uh, this is the example of this f x p x x is 1 by 3 minus 1 0 1. So, let us take another similar type of random variable, but just taking different range of the. So, here r x is range of this random variable suppose another random variable is y. So, y uh, is a random variable uh, with range of y is suppose uh, range of y is uh, is minus 10 0 10 and then uh, the what is the probability mass function probability mass function that p of y y this is nothing but y is equal to y which is nothing but 1 by 3 whenever y is belongs to minus 10 0 10 this is equal to 0 otherwise. So, note that uh, this uh, this random variable taking different values uh, uh, one similar values and uh, the random variable x in here we discussed uh, here this discrete random variable it is taking minus 1 0 1. So, now if you take this mean of this random variable expected values of y. So, this is the mu y. So, this is nothing but uh, what will be the mean? So, by definition summation of it will be y k p of y k over k here are 3 values it is taking. So, this is minus 10 into p o y of minus 10 plus 0 into p o y of 0 plus 10 into p o y of 10. So, then this p o y of minus 10 this is uh, 1 by all are 1 by 3. So, that is why this is 1 by 3 plus 0 plus 10 into 1 by 3. So, this is equal to 0 again. So, both the random variable has same mean. So, that is why if you have uh, two data like this. So, you can see that one data is like the 0 minus 1 and 0 1 and another data is like that. Suppose minus 10 is here and this is 10 is here. So, then you can see that uh, one data situated like this another data is like this. So, suppose one class students getting marks it is very close to 0 like this. Uh, so, uh, it is not uh, exactly. Uh, so, one data it is minus 1 0 1 and another like minus 10 10. So, these are different data, but having same mean. So, so the in the uh, what just we want to discuss here that uh, giving the mean of a random variable is not enough for understanding the data. So, it will just uh, give a some kind of central tendency mean is nothing but a central tendency average behavior of a data. So, different uh, data different distribution may have same mean. So, we need to learn some more uh, more, uh, more uh, summarized uh, some of the other measures also of a data. So, in general we will write suppose if you consider so, another concept here we are introducing we will discuss in details later it is called a function of a random variable. So, you know a function suppose y is, is equal to some f of x some some other function let us f already we are using for density function. So, some g of x. So, it may be sin x. So, any function suppose this is x equal x plus 2. So, then um, if we ask that so, if you uh, this is a this is a function from uh, this function g is from this function g is from r to r. So, we can talk about uh, instead of a real number here if you make uh, the random variable. So, what will be that things g of x. So, uh, because uh, x is already a uh, measurable function from s to r it is a Borel measurable function if you take a function g x. So, basically your it is going like uh, there is a uh, s here this is r here suppose. So, this is the x is a measurable function and then r to r you are taking another function g. So, then if you consider this composite function g of x. So, that means any point s here how it is going x of s will be in a real number. Then you are talking about so, g is r to r. So, g of x of s. 
So, then it will be again a random variable. So, uh, this will be a composite function y, y is nothing but g of x. So, basically it is defined by g of, so y of a uh, point in sample space, y of a point in sample space, then this, this is nothing but uh, g of x of s. So, it will be again a measurable function because uh, if you consider g is r to r a particular function, so, so that uh, it will be a measurable function here. So, then y is equal to g of x will be again a measurable function. So, if you take a type of, type of transformation, then we can talk about uh, by uh, either you have to find what will be the uh, x is having some kind of distribution, then uh, what will be the distribution of y and with respect to this distribution, we can find the their mean. Now, we can uh, instead of that using this distribution of x directly. So, later chapters uh, we will discuss that in the transformation of random variable, how to find the distribution of y whenever you know this distribution of x. So, here we will not go to, we will not find the exactly what is the distribution of y, what we will do? We will just find the by this transformation what will be the mean of y. So, why we are discussing here, it has some advantage, we will generalize some kind of this kind of measure. So, then what will be the expected value of y? Expected value of y will be by definition, suppose it is a, uh, uh, this is a, con uh, it is a, suppose this is a uh, discrete random variable, by definition this is nothing but summation of y k and this is taking uh, the all the value it is taking y k, this is the definition. Now, because it is uh, uh, expected value of y is nothing but uh, expected value of y is equal to g x. So, now we will define how expected values of a g x we can find with respect to the um, with respect to the distribution function of x. So, expected value of g x will be defined by for discrete case it is nothing but k uh, what is the value it can taking g of x k and then it is probability that it can take the value x k. So, uh, for continuous case it is defined by so minus mean to plus infinity so g of x. Uh, f x a density multiplied by density x. So, this is whenever x is discrete, x is discrete and whenever, whenever it is a x is continuous. So, now why you are defining this? So, it is a general definition. So, basically this is nothing but expected values of y. So, this expected value will be same this but later we will discuss, we will find that also. But here we are going not finding this uh, probability mass function in case of discrete case and continuous case we will find the probability density function, we are not finding those things. Just we are defining whenever we are taking a transformation like y is equal to g of x. So, then uh, we can directly find expected value of g x. Expected value of g x is nothing but what is the value it is taking under the transformation g x and the probability that uh, actually this probability does not change, only the value changing by the g. So, at, as if like suppose if you think that in a intuitive way suppose this head and tail observe, head and tail, some probability of head is 0.8, probability of tail is 0. So, that means probability that uh, this now if you define this random variable, x is like whenever head observe this is uh, 1 and uh, whenever tail observe this is 0. So, uh, this is 0. So, now uh, we understand that this under this random variable, suppose our distribution is uh, x is equal to 1 means head observe probability that head suppose this is 0 0.8 and probability that x is equal to 0 this is nothing a probability tail observe this is 0 0.2. So, this is the probability mass function of this random variable. Now, if you take a transformation y is equal to g x y is equal to g x this is nothing but x plus 2. So, then um, whenever x is 0 if uh, x is equal to 1 then y is equal to nothing but uh, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, this is nothing but 3. Now, if x is equal to 0, then y is nothing but uh, this uh, the 0 plus 2, this is equal to 2. So, that means whenever x is equal to 1, so which implies probability that y is equal to 3 is same as probability of x equal to 1 and this is equal to 0 0.8 and if y is equal to uh, 2 is nothing but same as probability of x equal to 0, this is equal to 0 0.2. Now, if you find the uh, this um, probable expected values of y. So, suppose if you want to find expected values of y directly from the uh, distribution of y. 
So, here you can see that the distribution of y is nothing but what is the probability mass function we are getting? Probability mass function of y is p of y y, this is, is equal to it is nothing but uh, probability that, so it is directly it is written here. So, in the, it is 0 0.8, this probability is 0 0.8, if y is equal to uh, what is what is the value y, whenever y is uh, 3, then this is nothing but probability of here is 0 0.8. So, basically under y, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, basically head observed mean under y it is 3 observed and head tail observed means for y it is 2 observed. So, basically it is y of head and this is y of tail. So, that is why y is equal to 3 means head observed. So, probability does not change only the value change to 3. So, that is why uh, here y is equal to 3 probability is same and it is 0 0.2 if y is equal to 2. So, what will be the expected value of y? Expected value of y will be summation of y k p of y y k. So, then uh, summation of y k y k is nothing but it is taking the value 3 and 2. So, this is nothing but 3 into uh, 0 0.8 plus 2 into uh, 2 into 0 0.2 0 0.2 this is uh, y k is 3 probability of y is equal to 3 is 0 0.8. So, then this will be nothing but uh, 2.4 plus uh, 0 0.4 this is nothing but 2.8. Now, if you find by this formula expected values of only g x. So, this is nothing but expected values of g x is by definition this is nothing but summation of uh, k uh, g of x k uh, p of x x k. So, here we are keeping the uh, probability mass function of x. Uh, so, then uh, what is the value x can take? It is uh, nothing but 0 and 1. So, this is nothing but g of 0 into p x of 0 plus uh, 1 it can take g of 1 uh, p x of 1. So, now what is g of 0? g of 0 is nothing but g x is nothing but uh, x plus 2. So, whenever it is g of 0, so this is nothing but uh, 0 plus 2, 2. 2 into p x of 0, 0 p x of 0 is nothing but x is 0 means uh, x is 0 means tail observed it is 0 0.2. So, this is nothing but 0 0.2 plus g of 1 means x plus uh, uh, 2 plus 1, this is nothing but 3 and p x of 1 means uh, in the with respect to random variable x, x equal to 1 means head observed, this is nothing but 0 0.8, 0 0.8, so it is 0 0.8. So, again it is coming 0 0.4 plus 2.4, this is nothing but 2.8. So, that is why uh, this formula we can use instead of finding uh, the details of the distribution. So, sometimes it will be required because here only we are finding the mean, but if whenever we are interested to know the actual distribution function of y, so then we need to find the distribution function in this way. So, later we will discuss more de details, it is very easy, it is only head and tail only, uh, head and tail that is why it is easy to find and we can verify this.